All right, YouTube, had to break for a little bit of lunch, but uh, we're gonna get to work on the OBS Ford. I got some injector harnesses um, on the 7.3 liter power stroke that are a little bit dry rotted. They're starting to split right at the bottom, right about there. And whenever you got a split, you're bound to get corrosion in there. Corrosion ends up creating resistance in the wires and then you're not getting the right signal, so on and so forth. So I got these off of Amazon and we're gonna get these wired in using these new style of connectors, which I'll show to you and how they work. They're really cool. There's no more crimping. And we're basically gonna do it with just a couple of tools. We're gonna use a wire cutter and use a stripping tool. And the only reason I got the electrical tape is that's for the wire loom. That's the protective loom that goes over top of the, the wiring harness. And time permitting, I may be changing out the injector pressure regulator magnet. Um, right, so we're gonna get climbed up in the engine compartment here. And I'll show you just what we're looking at. So these are the injector harnesses. And, and here's what I was talking about. If you look real close, you can see, I've already fixed this wire once, but uh, the wire is starting to dry rot and split. Same thing over on that side. Ooh, that's a really exposed wire there. So that's gonna end up corroding, causing resistance. I'm gonna have weak signal going to my injectors. It's gonna start causing running problems. So we're gonna get this uh, replaced. Another thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna take our light and we're gonna check the inside of those plugs and make sure we don't have any oil seepage in there. We got oil seepage in there and that means we need to replace the uh, valve cover gasket which happens to have the injector harness wired right into it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is lay this connector over top of the old one and follow it down and what I'm going to try and do is go beyond the old splicing connection and get some fresh wire to wire this together. So we've got the first wire put together and what you do is you take these new style of connectors that have the solder right in the middle and the red stripes are actually sealant so that when you shrink this it is a two to one shrink it melts the solder and then it seals the wire. Then what you do with the wire is you twist them together over top of one another. You then take the new connector right over top of where you twisted the two wires together. And then you put a heat gun to it and melt it. Start to see the solder melt. Move it out towards the ends. Get that to shrink down around the wire. You see the sealant start to spread out. Go over to the other side. Let that cool off. Got three of the five wires done so far. Two more to go and be on to the next one. So the old harness is cut out. Don't need that anymore. The new one is put in. We're using all new fresh wire down here. We're gonna get this tucked back into the wire loom to protect it. And uh, we're gonna hop out and go start the truck and make sure we don't have any problems. 
right here where you see all the new connectors come together, the, the solder slices, that's where I'm going to put some electrical tape to close this up and protect it from the engine heat. So we cleaned up all the tools out of the engine bay. And the reason I'm not going to go any further beyond the one harness that we just finished is because if I have a running problem, I can isolate it to that new one that we just finished instead of doing all four of them and then trying to figure out which one has the problem. So here we go. As you may notice, the OBS Ford has uh, 2018 interior. Fired right up. So there we go. Everything seems to be running fine. Idle's going real good. No check engine lights. That's Callie from Carl's Bad. My dashboard hula girl. And I'm going to get out there and finish up the other three. Well, y'all, that's enough for one day in the shop. Hopefully next video will be starting to put the torque tube back together on the Corvette project, get the transmission uh, mounted up to it with the new Yank racing converter, get the uh, rear third member all put together while I'm waiting for the engine to come back, which will hopefully be in the next week or two, and that'll be the next project. Again, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. We'll catch you next time.